Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no. Now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's going to send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Do you want to eat something? Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Sean used to love going to the park, laughing and messing around. Man, he was so happy. But that was before. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Come on, Dad! Make me fly! Step one, change the office.
Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. The bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. One, please. That's a dollar. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. to go on. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about four, 45, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat, a beige coat, and a pair of pants, beige pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I, I did. I, I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean and... possibly have vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I, I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I went home and waited for him there. I thought he might have gone out with some friends and they'd come home soon. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. 
everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? My wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. I miss him so much. <laughs> But now it's not the